Alright, now I'm truly appreciative of all the stories that you guys have been sending me on my Facebook page. One thing that I'm starting to notice, though, is that a common theme that people seem to be running into is they think they're wasting their time. Keep reading all these stories, I wish I had never met that person, wish I had never been with that person, wish I never fucked that person. And they all keep telling me that they wasted their time. You're not. Whether or not you actually wasted your time on someone is solely dependent on whether or not you choose to learn from the situation. Alright, now a perfect example of a bad relationship that I didn't waste my time with is actually my first one. I'm not gonna throw out names, you know who you are, and you actually liked my page recently, so I'll try not to paint you in a bad light. This is freshman year, and this girl is that first love. You all know what I'm talking about. That first love that it doesn't matter how much your friends can lay out the pros and cons for you on paper it doesn't matter what your family thinks or your co-workers think you're always gonna go back to them if you see them it doesn't matter how much they hurt you ripped your heart out stomped on it you guys fight on a weekly basis you guys you know break up go on breaks just completely end it just to get back together a couple weeks later that first love has got you fucked up and that's who she was for me. And we <laughs> we broke up like nine times over the course of a year and a half. You know, my friends didn't like her, her friends didn't like me. But I found myself saying something that we all do in that situation. And it's, they don't know what it's like when we're alone. When you guys are together and you're intimate and romantic, you know, they just don't see that. They're, and you tell yourself that they're never going to understand it. I made this girl everything to me. She was all that I cared about. The only thing I wanted. But we would fight on a weekly basis. She would overreact to the smallest little things that, you know, seem insignificant to the partner in the situation. And then doesn't want to talk about it. Just ignores you or blows you off or does something petty to you know hurt you and oh my god this sounds like deja vu if you're watching this i'm sorry but our relationship was toxic it was just bad and no matter how passionate we wanted to be for each other it wasn't going to work it was unhealthy now we'll paint it a bad situation even worse when it ended, ah, it was awful. Like, we're talking a phone call at four o'clock in the morning. I am just straight sobbing, bawling my eyes out when she ends it. And I was broken. But my first love didn't talk to me for four years. She straight up deleted me out of existence, blocked me on MySpace at the time and Facebook, blocked my phone number, which seemed a bit excessive. And then four years later, randomly, just hits me up, and now we're okay. You know, her and I are now casual. My point of the entire story was, this was someone that hurt me really bad. And at the time, it didn't seem like I had gained anything from the relationship. Like, I had wasted my entire freshman year. In reality, though, she's one of the most influential people that I've had in my life. It's because of that relationship with her that I actually learned how to handle caring for someone so much better. I would never let someone become my entire world again, and I started putting up some emotional walls. Some people think that's a bad thing, but realistically, I just, I handle most of my relationships in a much more mature fashion because of her. And I learned from it. I learned how to approach people better. I learned how to approach conflict better from her which is why for anyone that knows me i try to talk out everything i don't give you the cold shoulder i don't become petty on social media if we have a problem i want to talk it out i want to handle it and it's because of her that i can do that it took us like six years but now we're both adults and on with our own lives and everything is okay so if i'm being honest yes our relationship sucked, but I grew because of it.